Wise and Health Cities are collaborating on an exciting new initiative. Together, we're helping to build data capacity across the Alberta social sector. We heard from two of our first cohort of nonprofits about why this work matters and the impact it can have. I think first and foremost, you know, this is an opportunity for us to think about client-centered service. Right? When we think about service design, thinking human-centered design, um, the, the brass tacks of that is, is data collection how we do that on the ground level, how we support frontline workers to do it effectively. You know, how do we move from data as a chore to data as a win? The community approach to working with data is the most exciting part for me. It's my favorite part of my job to learn from others and collaborate, and this project is the embodiment of that. What I'm really excited about this initiative is seeing those sorts of collaborations proliferate. Can we not just talk about what best practices are, but demonstrate them and give other organizations the abilities to adopt them? It's just been so delightful to see the enthusiasm of different agencies about uh, joining our data sets and breaking down interagency silos. I've been at Bissell for 10 years and I've seen the attitude towards data go from being protective to being more open and collaborative. And that's really exciting for me and I, I think it'll go a really long way towards improving services to participants. I'm also really glad to see that there's a lot of thought going into protecting the privacy of vulnerable people's data. It used to be that we just keep that door closed to protect confidentiality, but I think that this venture is forcing us to think proactively about information ethics and in the long run will result in better data governance.